haven't heard anything really bad about it. I've heard that this car might be a little bit more durable. Um, otherwise than that, they both look great. Um, I have the JLB Cheetah um, 21101. What the hell ever. And uh, that car has Kaiju tires on them. And I'm telling you, it is a beast. But I'm looking at these cars and I'm thinking, what if this one had Kaiju tires? You know what I mean? Imagine that. Be pretty wild. But I already have me a beast. And that's pretty good. So let's take a look underneath, guys. And all these, both of these come with headlights, I believe. Mistaken. Yes, headlights and taillights. Um, they, they don't work when you like hit the brakes or anything like that. They're just on. Um, I'm not sure about this one. I haven't read the manual or anything, but I know that for this one. Look at that. A nice little shroud. Okay. Put that right there. Um, we got the old Europe uh, charger. Just put that right there. Um, and then we got the lights for the tail lights. I don't know if you can see them, but they're right there, right here, right here, okay, nice wheelie bar, they don't spin forever, but, so I've had wheelie bars that spin, not love it, and then, so, when it comes with a battery, the good news is, is that I bought so many of these cars that I can actually use these in pairs, so I can use them in series for, like, short runs or whatnot, because they never really give you much of a high milliamp, although this is a 3500. That's not bad, and I always run these on stock first, so I will be charging this up. I will be taking this out, so obviously be looking for that video. And uh, yeah, and it looks like it comes with 3.5, if I'm not mistaken, 3.5 ESC plugs from the motor, um, which is kind of cool because these 3.5s are. Um, in brushless 116 scale cars and they're usually 2s so if you were able to take this 3s well actually 4s capable esc i i know that this is capable of 4s i'm almost positive of it i know this one is i'm looking for the uh label there we go maybe possibly let's take a look it is 2 to 4s lipo right there so as you know now, the JLB3, whatever, sorry, Bison V3 is whatever. No, it's not whatever. What I'm looking at is this antenna, and I'm thinking, why is it just flopping around? I know it's not really a big deal, but I will be doing something about that. Um, and then, yeah, she's beautiful looking. I know that the setup is a proven design. Um, if I recall... These cars are exact replica, especially this one of the old Helion um, F MT, Helion MT, if I recall, not MT, I forget, but uh, the Helion, and if you look that up, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, again, this, the uh, receiver is not, you know, obviously this is not waterproof. Um, it's not meant to be waterproof, so that's good. We got the switch sideways, just like this, so that when you land, it doesn't shut off, or if you land on the butt, it doesn't shut off. Um, so they put it sideways. That was pretty smart. Um, to me, this is just a very simple design. I mean, and the shocks are always very nice when they have their own uh, spring load here. Not spring load. Uh, whatever you call it, where you tighten them by screwing. And uh, I'll pr I'll definitely be changing the shock oil in that. Uh, however, when we're ripping, this is good for ripping. I like this for ripping in the dirt and smaller jumps and stuff like that freestyling I, I, I like that I haven't messed with these but these are a little bouncy because I've tightened these up and got them to where I want to be except for the fronts evidently I haven't even done the fronts that's ridiculous no wonder why they broke didn't you, I went out there and I didn't even put the shocks in the front there Teresa mm -hmm. so there it is um, if you want to take a look at both of those they both have the chrome wheels on the side um, the difference with this one also is the same upgrade on the JLBs is that the you know basically Cheetah V5 you know what I mean because they came out with the Cheetah and I said I would explain this in the other one but they came out with the Cheetah 80 amp and then they came out with the Cheetah uh, 211011 80 amp and then they came out with the Cheetah 120 amp and then they came out with the Cheetah 
2110111120 amp. Obviously faster. So now we got, what is that, like V4? That's got to be like V4, right, if you're looking at it in, in, in that way. And then, so then this would have to be a V5 because this is your, I believe it's a 120 amp 2 to 4 S ESC. So there she is, guys. I'm going to throw a roof rack probably on this one, especially after driving her. I'm having a feeling she's going to need it because um, I love all the flips I'm going to need to get used to. Now, the key thing about flips with cars that have a lot of power and are very able to flip is that when you go off the hill, don't use all the power. You know, gauge it, get it right. You know, it's better to lay off than to and get it right than to try to push for the flip or, or whatever or even sometimes just jumping straight sometimes it's a little too powerful to hold it straight when you just tap the gas and the whole car does this and then tries and then you hit the brakes and try to do this and it does that you know uh, of course you can lower the brakes you can uh, maybe lower the even the throttle trim might help or the uh, punch you know those things will help with those issues I did that in my Chronos XTR and, and I love driving that thing so again here they are both of them 3500 battery. I'm um, trying to think of anything else that needs to be said. Anybody got anything to add? Uh, I know I said it, that the uh, Bison doesn't have the wing on it. That's because I haven't put it on yet. Is there a wing there, Andrew? You probably that box yeah, maybe it is in that box. It might be. It's probably in that box. Go ahead, open it up. See if you're right there. Yes, it is. Here's your wing, there, young lady. There you go. And then we got the LiPo balance. Yes, let me see that. This is one of those, uh, you know, if you want to spend five hours charging your battery type deal. Um, like I said, I have a bunch of these. Just comment down below, send me an address, and I'll send these to you if you really want one. I don't think I do. If you're anything like me, I use a power charger and I get done in about half an hour, 30 minutes or so. So, does anybody else notice anything about these cars? They got different body styles. Well, of course they do. Anything else? Look close. Mm. Let's see, the tires are the same. I can tell they're about the same. They're exactly the same. Again, Dumbo RC remotes. And of course, why wouldn't it be? They're both Bisons, but they use the four channel. And I use, of course, six channel because why? Six is better for projects. And uh, four channel will work just fine for you know, all you do is add a fan or whatever it is that you need. So. We're going to get this A-arm fixed, that's for sure, because I just do, it hurts my feelings to actually see this car like this. So we're going to end it here, and uh, YouTube, you keep uh, shining on great, and we all love you. So uh, if you want, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video, and hopefully you learn something good from this video, and something good from life every day. Have a great night, have a great day, and enjoy your afternoon, or whatever it is that you're doing at this time.